David Unapon's life represented a unique bridging of Western scientific knowledge and indigenous knowledge during a time in history where indigenous knowledge was not acknowledged by non-indigenous society. You probably recognize his face from being on the $50 note of Australian currency. He was born in September of 1872 at the Point Maclay Mission in South Australia during a time where Western science was universal and thought to be the center of legitimate knowledge. David was born during the Protection Era where Aboriginal people were seen as needed to be protected either from the rest of society or from themselves. This resulted in segregation and forced removal and isolation. Unapon's love and fascination with Western practices caused conflict because he challenged the limits indigenous people were thought to have. After all, Darwin's recent theory of evolution had aimed to explain diversity and how speciation came about. He drew the conclusion that the varieties of men seemed to act on each other in the same way as different species of animals, the stronger always extirpating the weaker. Darwin's views held great significance in justifying policy and understanding directed towards indigenous peoples during this time period. Unapon defied the stereotypes imposed on Aboriginal peoples as he was multilingual, speaking at least Latin, Greek, and English. David became a rarity as he was in his own category, which encapsulated both Western science and indigenous knowledge. Unapon valued Western science and technology as he saw mastering these skills might transform views of him and all indigenous Australians. While this was a time of assimilation into Western ways, it is important to note that David's efforts in life did not lead him to assimilate. Although he learned Western science from books that originated in Europe, he still incorporated indigenous knowledge into his inventions. In 1909, he created his most well-known invention of applying straight-line motion for sheep shears. Technology at the time only allowed for half-circular motion, like the motions used in a pair of scissors. During this time, Western peoples were seen as the superior class when compared to Aboriginal peoples. Because of this, Unapon was viewed as an advanced Aboriginal. In fact, a headline at the time referred to David as Australia's cleverest darkie. Unfortunately, even though this news report told of his scientific accomplishments, these words were hidden between the descriptions of his indigenity as emphasized in the racist title. Luckily, society's perceptions did not hinder Unapon's research and work as he conceptualized the helicopter in 1914. Unapon applied the physics of a returning boomerang to his helicopter design, illustrating his in-depth understanding of both indigenous knowledge and Western science. Being an educated and Christian Aboriginal, he challenged limitations placed upon Aboriginals at the time. He submitted arguments to the Royal Commission and advocated to the government for the partition of a separate indigenous state. David traveled for 50 years giving lectures and sermons throughout his life and commonly spoke about his creation stories and in this emphasized the positive future he had pushed for Aboriginal people. In summary, David Unapon was able to bridge the misunderstandings between indigenous knowledge and Western science and through this contradicted colonial understandings of indigenous peoples.